Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Like we've been doing in our recent episodes, we're going to do another mini tutorial today to install a mod. The one we're going to look at today is available through the Steam Workshop. It's called Sound Fixes. And as I've learned from Euro Truck Simulator 2, this is a great way to improve the generic sounds that you hear in the game. And it's super easy to do. Let's get started. First of all, from your Steam interface, you want to switch to your library. Then you're going to look for American Truck Simulator. If you can't see it there, there's mine. Once you're there, you want to come over here to this Workshop tab. If you can't see this, you're going to see a three dotted ellipsis. Just click that to make sure to be able to find it. Click on Workshop and then you come in here and this is where all of the mod files are. We're going to click on the search bar. We're going to click uh, search for Sound Fix. This is a very popular mod and very reliable. And there it is. If we search for Sound Fix, it comes up right there. Installing mods on American Truck Simulator through the Steam Workshop is really easy. You just click this green subscribe button. Now you can see that it says subscribed with a check mark and this item has been added to your subscriptions. While, we he while we're here, I'm actually gonna do one more thing because we have the Winter Frosty mod installed. We're also going to install these winter sounds. Just as easy, I'm gonna click on it, click and that will be get us subscribed. So now we've successfully installed the sound fixes mod and the winter sounds mod to our game. We have to go into the game and activate them. Let's do that next. Alrighty, now that we've installed the mods, we still have to go in and activate them. As always, we're going to click on the yellow button here, Mod Manager from the launch pad of the game. So we click on that and they load up and here we can see that winter sounds and sound fixes have been added to our mods. But we'll notice that they're not on the right hand side in active mods. All we have right now, Frosty Physics, Frosty Heavy Winter and Frosty 4.5, the snow mods. So let's fix that. First of all, we're going to click on the sound fixes, add that to our chart. We're going to click on winter sounds. We're going to add that. Your next question, I hope, is what order should they be in? Good thinking, right? So here's the order you want for these. We want winter sounds at the top. Then we want to move down. So we're going to come to the bottom here and decrease priority on the sound fixes and get them under the winter mods. And then any other mods, map mods and um, traffic mods and things like that, you'll want to follow the sound fixes mod. So the top mod is winter mod, the winter sounds. The next is frosty, the, the winter add-on mod. So we have heavy winter and the frosty physics. And then frosty 4.5 is the winter mod if you have that and sound fix. Now, if you don't have the winter mods on, then it's just going to be, win well, and if you don't have the winter sounds, you're just going to have sound fixes at the top, followed by maps and other mods like that. So. Uh, there you go. With that installed, now when we go into the game, we're going to confirm our changes down here. When we go into the game, we should have a whole new set of better sounds that replace a lot of the generic sounds in the game. And let's go for a drive. We're going to continue our game here. And still in the winter Christmas event, I think we have four, three, I've got only three deliveries. I got kind of a little bit sidetracked with Car Simulator 2021, which is way more fun than I expected to be. So I kind of had like a four or five day diversion with that. And I've started a new series with that on the channel. So if you want to check that out, it is a fun game. I've got about three or four episodes shot at the moment, only one up, but um, I am enjoying that. So now we are in our game here. Let's go for a ride. I'm going to go find something to take us somewhere and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, this looks pretty good. We got some Christmas gifts going from where we are in Lamar, going for a six hour drive up to Sterling. We should be in the snow. Let's begin this delivery. This sounds good. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring of Colorado. And I'd like to see, hopefully we get a snowstorm at some point. I think if we don't soon, I'm gonna go in and up the, the rain pre precipitation percentage to see if that will give us greater chance of getting a nice big snowstorm. Now I don't remember what time of day it was or whether it was night and stuff like that, but I'm excited to get back into the game. It's been about a week that I did get distracted by Car Simulator 2021. Looks like it's 10.30 in the morning and a perfectly clear day, and I can already hear the differences in the sounds. All right, wheel problems all sorted out. We have a nine minute drive to go find our, go this way, yep, I think. Oh, wait, wait, that's the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way here, completely confused. We'll, um, oh, I can go around this way maybe, huh? Yeah, okay, good. That worked out well. So we just have to leave our, we got about a 10 minute drive. Looks like we got a crystal clear day. No snowstorm today. I want a snowstorm. But we'll uh, drive these 10 minutes here to make our pickup and then we'll check in once we get there. Alrighty, here we are. These look like farming gifts. I'm not quite sure how this works out. It's just, it's amazing to see the variety of Christmas gifts that we have in this game. So we're at this farm here. 
Maybe it's like corn or something like that for kids who like vegetables or something. But let's back this up. I also have to remember that this is much slipperier now because uh, we have the winter physics mod installed and it is, I, I braked a couple times here and totally forgot. Just slid and slid and slid. Let's cut this in here. Let's get this all hooked up. I do, I can tell already that with these sounds, I like these better than the default ones already. It's really remarkable how much of a difference the sound mod makes. Merry Christmas, everybody. We have our trailer installed. A gorgeous day. We have enough energy and plenty of gas. We have our Merry Christmas truck. Let's get rolling here. So off we go. Explore Colorado, make some more Christmas deliveries. I'm going to get going now, I think, in these next few days on making some deliveries for the game, too, because I'm kind of behind on the Christmas event. Alrighty, so looks like we've got six hours and 16 minutes left. We're going to arrive about 5 p.m. And no traffic here in Colorado that I've seen so far. So we'll get going a little bit and we'll check in as we get out on the highway. So it looks like we're going to get a lot of this uh, single lane highway going one lane in each direction for this ride because we're just cutting up the east side of Colorado. We're going to end up right under the southeast corner of Wyoming too. Should give us a couple of more Colorado cities here too. I think the higher elevations are going to be to the western part of the state because the eastern part of the state of Colorado is pretty flat and, and kind of a lot of uh, kind of grazing uh, and ranching types of industries. And when you get into the western half of the state is where the... the uh, the mountains really take place. So I think we're not going to see too much altitude here. I think it's also pretty arid. And I I confess, I don't know if they adjust the weather based on a part of a state, like if a region of a state has a certain amount of rain and things like that. So we might have to go up into the mountains to get snow. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we should really go to Washington State because I know it rains there a lot. But I, I don't really know. I, maybe somebody knows. If you do know, maybe you could let us know down in the comments how weather is calculated in American Truck Simulator for like a, amounts of rain and stuff like that. Because certainly, unless I'm crazy, in Euro Truck Simulator, whoops, loan installment. Okay, certainly in Euro Truck Simulator 2, when I was driving in England at the beginning of the game, and I haven't driven there much since then, it was raining all the time. And then in different parts, like if you go down to Spain and stuff like that, it really wasn't raining very much at all. So I felt like there was a lot more rain in England than anywhere else. So I assume it's done by region. In like New Mexico, it barely rained on us. It hasn't really rained on us a lot in American Truck Simulator, but we've been kind of putzing around some of the drier states. So that could be the main reason why. Not really sure. But if anybody knows, I'd be very curious to how they calculate rainfall. Because I would like to, a couple of people have mentioned it in comments too. Where's the heavy snow? We haven't had any snow yet. And basically, I think what happens with that heavy winter mod and with the winter mod is that it turns rain into snow. And with the heavy winter mod, you get a lot of snow. So, but we haven't seen any rain, so we haven't seen any snowfall. But it'll come, I'm soon here. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll drive on here. There definitely doesn't appear to be rain in the, uh, in the works today, as this is perfectly cloudless here. Oops, gotta slow down. Gotta make it up. Well, I got the brakes full on here. Let's see if we can make it. Ugh keep forgetting that <laughs> I have to, it's like driving a boat with this winter mod you just hit the brakes and you just slide i'll probably again i think i mentioned it before i'm going to turn off the the physics at some point here because as fun as it is to, to play with it a little while it i feel like we're going to hit a lot of things wide open spaces this is cool i've spent actually a couple days in this part of colorado a few years ago and this is exactly what it looks like they've really captured this one whoops gotta get on the road so good job, SCS. This is what it feels like for sure. So we've got about three hours left. We're halfway. Uh, it's been a slower drive than predicted. I think it's taken us about what, five hours to do the three hours, four and a half hours to do the three hours, because um, there's just a lot of towns there. And with especially with the snow mod, with the, the physics on, it's just taking longer to kind of stop and I can't get up to the, the speeds you want. So. Yeah, it's a little bit trickier here with the frosty uh, mods on, with the physics mod to kind of to maneuver through these towns and stuff. It just takes more time. But speaking of which, we have to slow down here. I got my brakes full on and I can't slow down. We're gonna get a ticket somehow. Ah. 
I find that I think if you pump the brakes, it works better, maybe. So we're trying that here. Oh, someone playing basketball today. That's a good idea in the snow. <laughs> that is funny because the, so the winter mod affects the scenery, but it doesn't affect what the people are doing. So you see people out in like spring, you know, spring clothing, just kind of hanging out in the middle of a snowstorm like this. It's kind of funny. So, but yeah, about two hours and 45 minutes to go now and uh, making pretty, I mean, it's, it's a nice drive. This is a cool place to go through. Let's make this light. Let's go out of this town. There we go. Now we can pick up speed. Um, Alrighty, so we are over halfway now. We've got uh, about two and a half hours to go. I have noticed it's taken me more time, more time to drive this than the, the predicted ones because we went through a lot of little towns and when you do that, there's just a lot of cornering and stopping and starting and with the winter physics mod on, you just have to, you can't go the same speeds. You have to be a little bit more careful and it just takes longer to stop and you're not as kind of nimble and as reactive are, as you are with the truck normally. So I think I'll probably turn that one off again in a couple more episodes. But uh, other than that, having a good time here. And uh, I've noticed that what's coming new up in the game, I've seen more information about Heart of Russia coming out for Euro Truck Simulator 2. So I feel like that's probably getting pretty close here. Maybe as soon as the winter, the winter event is over. And how are people doing with the winter event? I mean, I imagine most people are close to done. Most people seem to go at it right away. So I've got some work to do catching up. I know I did this last year too, where I kind of started out, did a bunch of them in the beginning and then get distracted by the holidays and stuff wasn't able to drive as much as I wanted to and then kind of did one big power day where I kind of finished up the last you know, eight or nine deliveries so might be the same type of thing here I haven't had as much time to drive as I thought I would just around the holidays there's been a lot of guests and stuff and things going on and our kids are back from college so it's been a little bit trickier to to kind of devote time to the game as I thought I might have despite the fact that I'm on vacation from work so it's a little bit different but it's about uh, four o'clock now. We should see the sun go down. I noticed we just yawned. I'm going to be looking then for a place to sleep. Oh, that's a rough driver there on the right-hand side. That's kind of cool. Just an old trashed car. I kind of look at that now. I've been playing that car mechanic simulator. I want to kind of stop and look at it, buy it, see if we can fix it up. That's a fun game, by the way, if you haven't played that one. I mean, I think going forward on the channel, you know, one of the things I really want to do is have a couple of games that are consistently there. And I think things like Football Manager, consistently Board War games, want to consistently have there. Uh, the truck simulators want to consistently have there in some way, shape, manner, or form for all of those and just make those kind of the signature items on the channel, if you would. But then also I want to have new games kind of cycling through. So it's not just always the same three games or four games and maybe eventually kind of, you know, at certain points take kind of breaks from one game or another. I feel like we're going too fast for this corner. And I will say it again, I've yet to flip a truck over one of these days it's going to happen for sure maybe today will be the day we're going to be delivering in the dark too i think because it's the sun's starting to go down it's 4 30 the winter the daylight hours are shortened in the winter mod i know and we desperately uh, we're starting to get to be the point where we really kind of need a place to sleep gas is okay though it's a lot of flat turf for colorado you think of mountains but the eastern part of the state is pretty flat you can see we got some rolling hills up ahead here but it's still a lot of ranch land, and farmland, and agriculture in the eastern part of the state. And uh, not necessarily very, a uh, lot of precipitation too. It's not until you get to the mountains where they really get a lot of snow. Looks like we must be up close to Wyoming now in the northeast corner, I think. Then we're going to be turning straight west and heading to our destination. Oh, turn the lights on. Oops. Ah, I gotta stop. Come on, stop. Stop, 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 lights on, stop. So many things I'm trying to do here. There we go. Alrighty, I only took about 30 seconds to stop here. One of the things, at some point I should probably bolt down or somehow attach these pedals to the floor because whenever I have to brake a lot, they slide away from me. So sometimes I have to kind of put my foot way out here. The lights are definitely not on. Now they're on. Can't really tell yet. I guess maybe because we're going right into the sun, but I feel like they're on. Now we're definitely red. So there's a place to sleep like an hour and a half ago, and I thought we'll definitely have more places to sleep, but sometimes the game just gets you like that. They just don't throw places to sleep up for you, and you just end up 
struggling. Going right off into the sunset, though. This is pretty cool. Let's take a good look here. Nice. Winter sunsets. That's pretty cool. All righty. Well, we'll uh, look for a place to sleep here and keep making time here. Getting tired. I know I'm getting tired. I got that. Whoa, we got the blackness coming in. Hopefully we can find a place to sleep up here pretty soon. We'll, we'll keep checking here. I, we're not going to panic. So we are 45 minutes from our destination, and it says the game is telling us we have to rest in 26 minutes. And the only place, the next place where we can sleep is actually once we get off the highway. So I think we're going to get one of those sleeping violation fines. I don't see a way we can avoid that. I'm going as fast as I possibly can, but the truck can't go faster than 65. So I think we're going to get a sleeping violation. All right, so we're exiting here, and there is a place to sleep here. Oh, the darkness is coming in from the side. It's hard to see at night, but I can see the whole screen getting dark from the, the corners because we're so tired. So we want to pull off into this little sleeping rest area, maybe on the one on the left side, whichever one's easier to get to. Uh, I think probably turn right here. Sleeping places all over the place now. We can just rest area right here for sure. Uh oh, we're gonna hit this car. No, 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 no. Okay, I think we're going left. <laughs> oh, good, we can do that. And then we can sleep somewhere in here. Right over here. Let's just pull straight in and sleep. Can make it before the fine. E. Ah! <laughs> we slid into the wall. All right. Getting some rest, though. <laughs> that was expensive. All right, someone, Ahmad, made $7,000. That's awesome. Let's start our truck up. 5% damage. That's a bummer. Lights on. Maybe they're on, but we broke them. God. Okay plowed right into that fence there that was not our best job but that's partly to do with those winter frosty mods too right let's get gas here might as well Can we pull into this let's not blow up the gas tanks too can we get into those gas tanks by backing up that would be pretty cool i think we got it oops other way let's see what this side looks like yeah, we can manage. Just gonna straighten it out. Back right up and get some gas, and then we should be on our way. 4.30 in the morning now, so very uneventful <laughs> sleep. Just pull right in, smash the truck into a fence, and say, good night. <laughs> All right, let's stop there. Get some gas. Anyway, we'll fill up here, and then we'll uh, touch base as we get closer to destination. We're only a few minutes away, I think. So, unfortunately, there's no place to fix the truck in this town. So, we'll have to go on to the, the next town before we can repair our 5% damage. It is nice in American Truck Simulator, too, though. I've said it before. Oh, here we are, Sterling. Six out of 13 Colorado states discovered. So, almost halfway. Uh, it is nice in American Truck Simulator how you have the insurance. So the damages to your truck are a lot less expensive than they are in Euro Truck Simulator 2, where they cost a lot. All right, so here we are at the Walbert. Let's see what kind of parking we get. I feel like we've parked a lot of these. There's one where you back up inside the wall. Maybe that's the same footprint. It'd be nice to get a 90, but I think it's a 40, and it's just a pretty easy straight back up at the Walberts here in Colorado. But we'll see. Perfect place to deliver these farm toys. 40 XP. Oh, it's way over there. Interesting. That looks actually somewhat challenging, too. There's not much room to go past it. But onward. We'll take it on. We'll see when we get there. Alrighty, here is our spot. I'm going to try to cut it really close. Yeah, this is one where you kind of slide it inside the wall there. I think we're okay. If we can just get close here and nice and tight against the wall, pull it forward as far as we can, take advantage of this grass. So we can get it nice and straight. Yeah. 
here. That looks pretty good. I think we can go backwards now. It's gotta, we're not in line for it, are we? We're too far. This this side is too far away from it. We gotta straighten it out. Come on. I think we should be okay. Curl it in now. Can you give it to us? There we go. Got it. We are here. Nighttime delivery, of course. 4.48 in the morning. A perfect time for Santa to be delivering grip gifts to Walberts. We are here. Let's cash this one in. I wonder how much money we got. I didn't even look for the money. Six hours is going to be like 20000 maybe? How are we doing? 17,000, some bonuses, gives us 21,500. Excellent. Up to level 17 a little bit, working towards level 18. We'll continue on, of course. Our next goal for the, for the campaign here, for the career, is to pay back the loans, because we have two loans outstanding. One is the large one for 400,000 that we've had for the longest time, but then we picked the 100,000 to buy our own trailer, which we haven't really used that much. We have 96,000 left to repay on that one. So I think that's our first goal, is to kind of try to restrain myself from buying any upgrades. Although I'm seeing here in the top left corner, up above my head, new upgrades available for the Mack truck that we got here. That's it? Oh, side skirts, paint and chrome. Uh, I don't know, that looks pretty good. Anyway, we'll, we're going to try to restrain ourselves from getting upgrades. And anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know if you install the Sound Fixes mod and how you like it and uh, how the Christmas event is going. And are you looking forward to any new kind of uh, DLC coming out, Heart of Russia coming out from Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, I should be back soon again for another episode. I'm going to try to crank away on the winter events and see if we can finish that up. But thanks again for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. And if you new, please consider subscribing and have a happy holidays and happy new year. And we'll see you on the next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye.